welcome to the Golden Road Guitar Corps! You did it. I'm so proud of you. You're here. You're here because you want to learn the easiest and most effective way to play practically on the guitar, no matter the situation, no matter the music. All you got to know is the key, right? And the way I'm going to show that to you is through shapes, what we call chord inversions, right? All the different shapes, right? There's only so many of them, and they're the same up and down the neck, right? First big secret, out of the way. Second is the whole, whole half method. But we've got to get through the chord inversions to get to the whole whole half method. And the whole whole half method is the way that I've been able to learn how to play expressively on the guitar, right? That's what we want. We want to be able to express ourselves freely without being hindered by uh, modes and scales and, and everything like that that just ends up muddying up your brain and muddying up the creative process. The whole idea is to strip all of that away, make it as simple as possible for anybody to understand, because we all know shapes, right? You learned that in fucking kindergarten baby don't be a baby learn it it's not hard you will though you will have to stop after these modules to practice practice yeah bitch practice you gotta practice this is only this is only a step of it i'm like fucking morpheus right i can only show you the door you have to walk through it. right that's all i can do all i can do is show you this stuff you're going to have to stop after each one of these modules and reference your charts reference the backing tracks and practice all this stuff is practical knowledge. What's the part of practical? Pract practice, right? You gotta do it. It takes time. You gotta work at it, okay? And the biggest rule is don't be so fucking hard on yourself. This is all gonna lead to you being able to play, uh, again, uninhibited, not being uh, bogged down by anything. You're gonna be able to go through every version of major chords and minor chords that mean anything. I'm not gonna teach you the weird shit. We're not going over like jazz chords or anything like that. We're going to go through the the major chords. We're going to go through the minor chords and only the ones that you're going to use through like playing songs and soloing. Like I'm going to show you how all of these things interlink and interact through very simple charts, very simple direction, right? This is all going to be as easy as I can make it because again, I'm not a lesson guy. Like I didn't take lessons. So I'm going to, I learned it the easiest way possible that I could to still be able to express myself without, again, like muddying up my brain space. Because to me, it's all about having that emotional and spiritual connection to the music, which is why, you know, a lot of you here are deadheads. That's why we love the Grateful Dead, right? And I'm not here to teach you how to play like Jerry. I'm here so you can unlock your own playing style. That's what I want for you. Because if you listen to how I play, I play a lot of dead tunes. But that doesn't mean I play just like Jerry. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm specifically trying to serve the song. That's what you should also be learning here is like not only are you going to we're expanding your vocabulary right where we're expanding your vocabulary to a point to where you'll be able to make it through really any song with just knowing the basic chord structure or even just the the key that the song is in you'll be able to extrapolate these ideas and lay it over literally any music you'll find that in the backing tracks that i've provided for you guys several different genres several different styles of music and you'll be able to play seamlessly over all of them that just comes with your own flair right it just takes time to learn your own little nuances your own little tricks because all guitarists are just a bag of tricks once we get into it it's going to make so much sense to you and i know that during this course at one point you're going to have the aha moment of like oh my god it's so simple it's all the same shit everywhere. It's all the same, no matter what. You're literally just moving shapes up and down, and that's it. You, that That's it. That's all it is. And then for soloing, you're just tracing those chords with a little bit of flavor. You just put your own little, your little zhuzh on it, right? You put your own little chef's kiss, your little salt, your little pepper. Maybe throw in a little paprika. I don't know, man. Uh, but we're going to go through all of that stuff. Sitting 